students welcome to biovidyalaya today we are going to discuss about polymerase chain reaction pcr this will be helpful for those who are studying in class 12 to those who are preparing for various competitive examinations in biology so here we are going to discuss about what is pcr and what are the three different steps in pcr so let's begin pcr means polymerase chain reaction this is a laboratory technique this is helpful for making many copies of the targeted dna okay suppose somewhere some crime happen and we get some samples like hair or blood draws from that crime place and uh, we will get only a small quantity of dna from that sample we have to test that uh, dna in order to find uh, any hint about the crime isn't it but we have to do many experiments with that small quantity of dna that is not possible isn't it for that pcr will be helpful pcr will helpful for making many copies of the targeted dna that will amplify our targeted dna okay so polymerase chain reaction is a laboratory technique for rapidly producing or amplify millions to billions copies of a specific segment of dna and pcr was invented in 1983 by the american biochemist carey mullis so who invented pcr carey mullis okay and pcr reaction requires primer thermostable dna polymerase called tag polymerase template dna and nucleotide one more thing also needed that is buffer okay for pcr reaction we require rna primer thermostable dna polymerase called tag polymerase template dna nucleotide and buffer okay and pcr is a three step process that is carried out in repeated cycles okay so we will get millions to billions copies of specific segment of dna through pcr and three steps of pcr are denaturation annealing and extension this is very important you have to remember this in correct order so three steps of pcr are denaturation annealing and extension okay so this three steps is carried out in repeated cycles and after the pcr reactions we will get millions to billions copies of the targeted dna so after one cycle we will get two copies of dna after two cycle we will get four copies and after three cycle we will get eight copies such a way in each cycle doubling of dna is occurring and finally we will get millions to billions copies of the specific segment of dna okay the first step of pcr is denaturation we know that our dna is double stranded here you can see that and here this is pi prime and this is 3 prime in complementary strand you can see this is 3 prime and this is 5 prime okay so after denaturation what will happen unwinding of dna will occur double stranded dna will become single stranded dna okay so here the hydrogen bond is breaking only the hydrogen bond is breaking there is no change in phosphodiester bond here only hydrogen bond is breaking so we will get single stranded dna and this denaturation occurring in high temperature and this high temperature is applying only for short period of time if you give uh, for long period of time what will happen collapse dna will collapse instead of denaturation so we are uh, giving uh, temperature 92 degree celsius this is the optimum temperature so the first step in pcr is denaturation in this step separation of double stranded dna is occurring 
it is occurring at 94 to 98 degrees Celsius. You can remember uh, optimum temperature as 92 degrees Celsius for 20 to 30 seconds. Okay, this you have to remember. It breaks hydrogen bond present between base pairs. So, denaturation leads to the formation of single strands of DNA. Okay. The second step of PCR is annealing. Okay. So, in this annealing step, a small segment of RNA called the primer is get attached to the single standard. DNA. You can see that this is the 5 prime end and this is the 3 prime end. Okay. So, our RNA primer, the short segment of RNA called primer that is attaching to the 3 prime end of the single standard DNA. Here also you can see that this is the 3 prime end of the DNA strand and RNA primer is attaching to this end only. Okay. This is the 5 prime end of the primer and this is the 3 prime end of the primer. Okay. So, the second step is addition of the primer to single stranded DNA. Here the reaction temperature is lower 50 to 60 degrees Celsius. You can remember the optimum temperature as 68 degrees Celsius. So, here the reaction temperature is lower to allow the complementary base pairing between the primer and the complementary part of the single stranded DNA template. Primer is a small segment of RNA. Primer is always attached to the 3 prime end of the DNA. This is important. Okay. And you have to remember that this is the temperature or you can remember this optimum temperature. This is 68 degrees Celsius. Okay. And primary is always getting attached to the 3 prime end of the DNA. That is also important. Okay. The third step, the final step of PCR is known as extension. We know that our DNA is single stranded. This is the 5 prime end and this is the 3 prime end. At this 3 prime end of the single standard DNA, there is RNA primer. Okay. And here this is the 5 prime end of the primer and this is the 3 prime end. At this 3 prime end, OH group is there. To this OH group only, DNA polymerase is adding nucleotides. Okay, you have remember that always nucleotides are adding to the 3 prime end of the RNA primer. Okay, so complementary strand is synthesizing from 5 prime to 3 prime direction. This is the 3 prime end of the complementary strand. And here, one special DNA polymerase known as TAC polymerase is using. TAC polymerase. This is heat stable polymerase. Thermostable polymerase. Okay. And this TAC polymerase is extracting from bacteria. That is thermophilic bacteria known as thermus aquatics thermus aquatics so this heat stable or thermostable tag polymerase is extracted from thermophilic bacteria known as thermus aquatics so this TAC polymerase enzyme will not denature at this high temperature of PCR. Okay. This is heat stable polymerase. Okay. So, here you can see that this is single stranded DNA. 
and this is prima and uh, dna polymerase is adding nucleotides to 3 prime end of the primer so complementary strand is synthesis in from 5 prime to 3 prime direction okay and which is the uh, dna polymerase here tag polymerase okay this is he stable and this process is occurring at the temperature 72 degree celsius this is the optimum temperature okay so we started with one dna now we got two dna doubling of dna is occurring after uh, two cycle we will get four and after three cycle we will get eight after four cycle we will get 16 like that after the final step we will get billions of dna from the pcr okay so a thermostable dna polymerase called tag polymerase is used for this process and it is done at a temperature of 75 to 80 degrees Celsius. That optimum temperature is 72 degrees Celsius. This you have to remember. And nucleotides are adding to 3 prime end of the primer. The DNA polymerase adds nucleotides in 5 prime to 3 prime direction and synthesis the complementary strand of the DNA template. Okay. So in Polymerase chain reaction, these three steps that means denaturation, annealing and elongation that will repeat many times and finally we will get billions of copies of the targeted DNA. So here you can see that this is original DNA to be replicated that means targeted, targeted DNA. Okay. And this is primer, RNA primer and this is nucleotides. So, the first step is denaturation. So, during denaturation, unwinding of DNA is occurring. So, we will get single stranded DNA. And second step is annealing. And during annealing, uh, during annealing primer will get attached to the 3 prime end of the single stranded DNA. And the third step is known as elongation. During elongation, DNA polymerase known as tag polymerase that will add nucleotides to 3 prime end of the RNA primer. So, we will get complementary strand. So, after these three steps, we will get two copies of the targeted DNA. And these three steps will repeat many times approximately 25 to 30 times and after that we will get billions of copies of the targeted DNA. So denaturation is occurring at 94 to 96 degrees Celsius that means approximate 92 degrees Celsius this you have to remember and adding at 68 degrees Celsius and elongation at 72 degrees Celsius. Okay so this cycle is repeated 25 to 30 times and with this the DNA sample can be amplified a billion times. Gel electrophoresis is used to visualize the result of polymerase chain reaction. Okay, I think this is clear for you. Here I am winding up this lecture video. I hope you all have subscribed this channel. If you didn't subscribe then please do subscribe and also don't forget to share this video with your friends.